vlogging. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go and see how it goes. Um, we really just want to show you guys a little bit more in depth and behind the scenes of what goes on here. So just to kind of show everyone what else is going on outside of the training photos and the little snippets of footage we take from training sessions and we post out there just because there's so much more to it. And it's not just that. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes. And I think it'd be interesting to kind of show everyone and bring them along for that. So today we are going to a show. It's a natural trail challenge. So I'm bringing two of my personal Mustangs, Manchi and Bo. And we're gonna do agility with Bo. It's in hand because he's a yearling. There he is. And then we're gonna go with Manchi into the training level. So it, it's really fun. I really love going to these shows. I love doing trail classes, all that fun stuff. So I wanna show you guys that. It's a super rainy, gloomy, gross day out, <laughs> but the show must go on, even if it's pouring rain at some points. Um, but it's gonna be fun. And I'm really looking forward to kind of showing everyone, you know, what else goes on outside of all that stuff on Instagram and Facebook. So we're going to give it a go and see if we do well at this vlogging thing. <laughs> I'm not sure how it'll go, but we'll see. And hopefully you guys can tolerate me and you guys enjoy seeing all this fun stuff. So I brought the wrong tall boots over and this is what I'm dealing with today. So um, yeah. Okay, so this is Bo's run. Bo is going in the agility class. He is a one-year-old Mustang gelding from Antelope Valley, Nevada. And I got him for the Extreme Mustang Makeover in Lexington, Kentucky this past year, where we were the overall champions of the youth division. So for this first log with the side pass to the right, he was pretty good. And of course he tried to grab the tree right next to him, <laughs> but he did good with that log. Now going up to this next log for the left side pass, I kind of cut him off too soon. So he didn't step directly over the log to start his side pass. And he kind of swung his hind end away, but he kind of evened himself out with his side pass um, coming towards me. And he was a little lazy with it, but he did pretty good. Now we're going up to a bridge, which he tripped over, and then I tripped. So that was interesting. <laughs> And we turn around and we go into this step down where we stop and do a 360 whatever direction. And I struggled fitting myself in the box and that kind of made it look a little sloppy. But he did pretty good circling around in there. It wasn't a perfect pivot but it's really just supposed to be a circle. And we step out and we take a long walk to the next obstacle. He was super super lazy today so <laughs> it took a lot longer than it's supposed to to get over there. But we made our way. So here he has to step over three logs on a hill. And I tried to lengthen my line as best as I could while having him still do the job. And he stayed pretty straight with us. He usually gets a little crooked. So I was pretty proud of him for staying, you know, going over what he should be. And so here we have to go through a backing chute and we turn in front of it and start backing. And he was a little lazy at first, but he started to pick up his step and he did pretty good. He didn't hit anything and he kind of stayed moving forward or backward, I guess you could say. And you can see that he's a little nervous. His head's up and his ears are back a little bit. And as soon as he gets out of the chute, he does kind of get very nervous about something. He starts looking at it. So something was bothering him.
Here we just have to trot over to a step up and we walk up this log that's on a hill and we have to walk through a whole course of logs but the camera didn't pick it up, it got a little shaky and I missed it but he did pretty good with all of them. So now we're walking over a bridge that has a hill right after it and that hill leads to this giant bridge we have to go across. And this bridge was super slippery because of the rain, so he lost his footing a little bit and slept a few times, but he still did pretty good. After the bridge, we have to start trotting down this hill, and he got pretty frisky, but he stayed listening to me, which is most important. And as soon as we're done trotting, we're pretty much done. And it wasn't perfect, but it was a pretty good run, and I'm pretty proud of him. Okay, so this is Manchi. She's my five-year-old Mustang mare from Nebraska. I had her for the 2015 Mustang makeover. And she's the first Mustang I ever got, first Mustang I ever gentle, trained, all that fun stuff. She does good walking over these first three logs, but this last one is the one she always has trouble with. Every single time we're here, she does not do well with this log. She gets super irritated side passing over it. You can see her tossing her head and her back legs kind of get funky. And it's I have to kind of guide her a little bit more with it and she still struggles. Here she bobbles at the bridge, which is super unusual for her. Um, I'm thinking that it was just weird with the rain. It was wet and shiny, so it probably looked a little funky to her. She does good walking over these three logs. So this gate is a little interesting today. She was not having anything to do with it. She was not happy about it and was just getting a little frustrated and confused. So she was tossing her head, kind of dancing around a little bit, but I got her to give me the right answer eventually. And I waited until she was done moving her feet a little bit. We went through. And here she gets really frustrated. She kind of starts backing away and just trying to find a way out, but it clicks and she gives me the answer that she knows she's supposed to give. We finished that up okay. So now we have to walk through a bunch of logs and she does pretty good with this. She kind of felt more like her usual self here where she's still looking around at stuff and she's a little forward, but she's not as anxious. So now we have to trot up a hill and down and we go through this alleyway. And right after that, you kind of have to walk and turn to go down this hill with a bunch of logs on it. And it being slippery was a little scary because she was so forward, but she kept her footing, which is good. You need to start trotting once you're down. And you trot over to this big step up. And you walk up it. And once you're up there, you have to stop and do a 360. And I tried to pivot her a little bit, and she kind of got her foot behind the other leg a few times, but she still did okay, and she stayed up there, which is really good. And I kind of asked her to pause when we were done, just so it kind of brought her back a little bit, because she's so forward today that I just wanted to pause when I had the chance. So it gets a little hard to see us at this point because we go behind a bunch of the bushes, but we have to step over a few logs and walk through an alley type thing of logs. <laughs> she does pretty good there. And we trot downhill and go underneath the bridge. And right afterwards, you kind of go over a few hills and you go down into the pond, which she absolutely loves to do. I think it's so funny how much she loves going through this water. <laughs> She did really good there. And you step up and over this log. And here we have to turn around and back through a zigzag shoot. And she did pretty good with this. She usually struggles a little bit, um, but she stayed moving pretty forward for a backup. <laughs> and she did really good here. I really liked how she maneuvered through this. So I liked that. 
And right after, she did an okay turnaround. And we have to trot over and trot into a step down. And she did okay. We broke in front of it. And she kind of was a little antsy once we were in there. We have to stop, let go of our reins, and wave our hands up to the judge. And she started walking off as soon as we did that. So I had to stop her and kind of let go and correct that. So that was Monchi's run. And even with all the initial anxiety she had, I'm pretty proud of her. Ready to go home? So at the awards banquet, we got our awards, and I ended up being the youth overall high point, which is based off of Monchi and Bo's scores combined after the whole season. Bo ended up being the overall agility champion, which I think is so exciting. He's been gentled for eight months maybe, and he's really achieved a lot in that short time. So I'm just, I'm really proud of him. I think he's an amazing ambassador for the Mustang. Overall, this was a super fun show series over at Lynn Palm's place in Ocala, Florida. I'm really excited to bring some more young horses out there next year and go through the series again. Okay, so before we end this first vlog of ours, I want to thank our sponsors real quick. We have Green Horse Organics and Biomain and um, the Mustang Heritage Foundation. I am the official youth ambassador for them. And they have, they're the reason I have my Mustangs. <laughs> if it wasn't for their programs, I probably wouldn't have ever found out about Mustangs or gone for it. And that's clearly what my life is shaped around now. So they've definitely played a really big role in what I'm doing today. And make sure you guys check them out because they are amazing.